If you love to inspire young minds and have a passion for teaching, Good news for you, St. Joseph County ISD is looking to hire some substitute teachers. And joining us to tell us more is EDU or EDU staff, Fawn Jackson. Fawn, good morning. Good morning, thank you for having me on today. Thank you for being here. So what are some of those staffing needs that St. Joseph County ISD and surrounding school districts need? We are looking for additional substitute teachers and substitute paraprofessionals to jump into the classrooms and help out on an as needed basis. Um, the majority of these assignments are going to be um, placed into a dispatching system um, and it's a daily need that we need people in the classroom to help cover those absences for the schools. I know a lot of people have thought about doing something like this. So what are the requirements that, it, you know, what does somebody have to have in order to be a substitute teacher? Great question. The state requires that if you're going to work as a substitute teacher, you need to have at least 60 college credit hours from either a two or a four year um, accredited college, mm -hmm. a 2.0 GPA, and then you would pay for a substitute teacher's permit at the cost of $45 every school year. If you have a current Michigan teaching certificate, the substitute permit is waived for you. There's an online application that's available for everyone to complete at www.edustaff.org. And there are no costs directly to work with Edustaff. Fawn, so what have you guys seen throughout COVID-19 and how that has kind of affected some of those teacher shortages that we've seen? Well, in addition to the decreased um, staff being able to be in the schools, um, we saw a decrease in substitutes able to work. Um, so we are hopeful that this year we have a greater number of people that are going to be returning to the classroom and returning to work this year. Are there any costs associated with uh, employment through EDUSTAF? In addition to the $45 permit fee that I mentioned earlier, every applicant is required to be fingerprinted um, that cost generally is right around an average of 60 or 65 dollars and as long as you remain active working those fingerprints remain active with you so it's it's almost always a once and done do guys, oh go, go ahead. ahead i was just gonna say do you guys happen to have any training for the substitute teachers because i know as a kid i was probably one of the bad kids and we always loved when substitute <laughs> teachers were in because it wasn't our normal teacher they didn't know who we were and so do you guys like talk with them or deal with them about how to deal with the students? We do, same. I remember when the TV cart came rolling down the hallway, mm -hmm. we knew there was a sub and it was a great day. Yeah. But those days are pretty much gone. So we put everybody through a workshop and we talk um, for the large part of that workshop time on classroom management. And we take each applicant through a typical day from the time that they ex accept the assignment on the dispatching system all the way through the end of the day. Um, we try to really make sure that they are as well prepared as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we also talk to them about who in the building would be a great resource and a great asset to be able to turn to when they have those kinds of questions. All right, there you go. Fawn, thank you so much for joining us this morning and telling us about these opportunities.